The scandal around Debu's gesture after receiving the Golden Globe Award earned him critics from colleagues, fans, and media. Did he go too far with this gesture? There's a reason behind the unexpected celebration of the Argentine. And you're about to find out what it is. What a final we have seen. The ending of Qatar 2022 couldn't have been better with Argentina and France fighting in an emotional roller coaster game to lift the trophy. The South Americans were two goals ahead, but a brace scored by Kylian Mbappe took the match to the extra time, where each team scored one more time. Finally, the Albi Celestes won the penalty shootout and took the World Cup home for the third time in their history. And besides the iconic Lionel Messi, what made it to the headlines was the scandal surrounding Amy Martinez. After receiving the Golden Glow Award given to the best goalkeeper of the tournament, Dibu took the award and put it around his genitalia. The image of Martinez performing the obscene gesture with the Emir of Qatar behind him instantly got viral, and international media destroyed the Argentine, pointing out that his celebration was distasteful, horrible, unsportsmanlike. You name it. Martinez's gesture gathered all the negative adjectives you could imagine. Some even say that FIFA's president Gianni Infantino couldn't believe what his eyes saw. And while press reports indicated that Amy could be punished for his actions, the goalkeeper would actually explain why he did what he did. You see, Martinez's gesture was for the French fans. The goalkeeper stated that the European supporters wouldn't stop booing him. So he decided to look at them and make the gesture that made the football world incredulous. I did it because the French were booing me. Arrogance does not go with me. Martinez felt mistreated by the fans of Les Bleus and got his revenge in his unique way of doing things. Let's not lose sight of the fact that this isn't the first time that Dibu has been involved in a scandal. During his unforgettable 2021 Copa America, Amy played mind games with the Colombian players in the semi-finals. After trash-talking them, he stopped three penalty kicks out of five, and in one of them, he did a gesture that infuriated the Colombian fans. Days later, after winning the final against Brazil, he received the Best Goalkeeper Award and did the same gesture we saw in Qatar. That's right, folks, Martinez had already did this before and in the exact same moment. Now, did he deserve the award? Some fans assured that he was the best goalkeeper. Others said they were better. The Argentine had a key save against Australia and became a national hero versus the Netherlands. But his most iconic saves came in the final. First, by stopping a 1v1 situation in the 123rd minute against Colomani. French subs were already inside the field to celebrate their fourth goal when Dibu stopped the shot with his left foot and took the final to a penalty shootout definition. And you know, penalty shootout equals Amy Martinez's showtime. All the trash talking and mind games return. He threw the ball away to make Coman and Chouamani look for it before shooting. Emmy stopped Kingsley's penalty and danced after Aurelien missed it. So you can sense why the French fans weren't really eager to praise him during the award ceremony. That being said, Dibu did have a sportsmanship moment that must be taken into account. Kylian Mbappe was on the floor, crying about missing the opportunity of winning his second World Cup, and Amy Martinez went over to comfort him. The goalkeeper knew that it was one of Kylian's most difficult moments. Mbappe had scored a hat-trick, plus scoring his penalty in the definition, and Martinez acknowledged his greatness. Is Dibu a villain? A hero? Perhaps a little of each. What's undeniable is that he has a place in football's golden pages, and no gesture will change that. Martinez's gesture is still bringing lots of comments around the world. Was he obscene? Or was it justified by the heat of the moment? Let us know in the comments. Dibu Martinez is now on top of the world, but did you know that he went on loan six times in seven years before having a chance in Arsenal? Oh My Go recently published a video looking at his incredible journey to find out what the heaven happened to Amy. Thanks for watching.